Is it true that sharks are attracted to blood? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. I haven't seen any sharks yet, so. You know, I'm a little. We are in Waihe Beach. Unfortunately, last year, a woman was killed by a shark attack on this beach. Today, however, we are headed along this rocky coastline, and, and Sam is a little dismayed by our destination for today, which we just realized was called Shark Bay. So Sam happened to look at the map and say, do you realize that place is called Shark Bay? I did not know that. I just saw in the satellite that there might be possibly some beautiful sea caves over there. Well, let's go jump into Shark Bay and see what we can find. Right now I'm feeling a little disappointed because we tried to go around the point here. It's just the swells are too big. It's like six foot swells, four foot waves, something like that. Still three hours till low tide. So we're gonna see, there's this track here, but it's up on these cliffs. So I don't know if we can drop down into Shark Bay from here. We're gonna try though, because I gotta fulfill Sam's strong desire to go to Shark Bay. So lots of beautiful native bush on this track, not too crowded either. So we're going to this first kind of sandy beach cove, forget the name of it. But beyond that, I believe it's the next beach beyond that is Homunga Bay, which um, has a, a beach waterfall flowing onto the beach. That was in uh, my video, Five Beach Waterfalls of New Zealand. And this has a waterfall. It's like another hour once you reach the beach, basically hiking up into the bush, um, which looks interesting. It's a two tiered one and you can climb to the top of the first tier. I don't know that we're gonna do that today, but it really depends on how the swells are looking over in this area. Because if I can't get up in these caves, we might go check out, uh, check out that other waterfall. Well, if the caves don't work out, we have this beach all to ourselves, so still not a bad day. These cliffs, they're calling my name. Look at them. There's so many muscles here. It looks like some of them are the green lipped muscles. I don't think all of them are. See, they're all green lipped? Yeah. 
This thing is massive. You see these boulders though. The ceiling has collapsed. I don't know, probably a while ago though. These things are definitely eroded from the ocean. Hate to be in there when one of those comes down. stuff but not really much of a rip I haven't seen any sharks yet so you know I'm a little oh, oh. maybe we'll go check out that side of the beach see what's over there Still having a nice day. Water's beautiful. It feels so nice. Wow. This goes back further than I expected. Look at this. Pretty cool. The fact that this is all the way over here means it gets high tide must get some massive waves pounding with force. Think about that. This is pretty well sheltered right now. So to go that far back, the amount of waves and pressure and volume of water that comes in here over time has been massive. Right 
<laughs> Is it true that sharks are attracted to blood? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Infamous. <laughs>